Good morning, friends, or afternoon, or evening, depending on when you are watching these stories. This is Miss Serna, and this week of April 27th through May 1st, we are going to do something different. I am going to assign a theme to this week's readings. So that means all the stories, and I'm gonna do three, are going to have something in common. So the theme that is um, that I have for this week's stories are called, or is, the theme is large creatures. So all of the stories are gonna have a large creature in them. And I hope that you are excited to find out which large creature I'm gonna read to you about. There's something flying in front of my face, but you can't see it. So the story that I'm gonna read to you guys is called Gilbert in the Deep. Let me go get the story. I left it on the floor. It is about this large creature, a great white shark who has a friend, cute, I know I say cute a lot, um, but I hope I'm excited. I mean, I hope you're excited, because I'm excited, that we're gonna read this cute story called Gilbert in Deep. Check it out. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off now. Gilbert in Deep by Jane Clark and Charles Fuge. There's Gilbert and friend. Gilbert, the great white shark, loved to play hide and seek with Rita Ramora. Look, there's Rita. He's a happy shark. But they already knew all the nooks and crannies in the coral reef and all the hiding places in the wreck. Oh, it's probably a shipwreck, right? And they hide in there. So one day after school, Gilbert asked his mother, Oh, Mom, can we go and play hide and seek on the other side of the reef? Go ahead. Mom said, but be sure to be back before sunset and don't go over the edge. Gilbert and Rita swam off happily. And there they go. Any predictions, friends? I have one. The sea was rough on the other side of the reef. When Gilbert hid in the surging surf, Rita was tumbled and tossed by the waves. And when Rita hid in the swirling seaweed, Gilbert got terribly tangled. Oh, I'm tired of playing hide and seek, sighed Gilbert. Uh, let's swim off the edge and play hide and deep. not to, warned Rita. She'll go off the deep end. No, oh, she won't know. As long as we're back before sunset. Gilbert grinned. He was ready for an adventure. Uh-oh, Gilbert. Oh, that's a cool picture. So it looks like that's the edge and then the vast ocean. The edge of the reef dropped away into inky darkness. It's dark in the deep, Gilbert said, peering over the edge. You're not scared of the dark, are you? Asked Rita. Oh, uh, me? Uh, scared? Gulped Gilbert. Oh, uh, great. White sharks are fearless. And they dove off the edge Above them, pale rays of watery sunshine silhouetted a shimmering shadow. It's a ghost whale! Frida froze in her fin. Boo! Gilbert shouted. 
the huge shadow broke up into glittering rainbows. Uh, it's only cuttlefish, Gilbert grinned at Rita. There's nothing to be afraid of. Down and down they dove through the deep, dark ocean. There's, oh, this is from the cover. And there's that creepy crab. They stopped at the entrance to a cave. Oh, I can't see a thing in here, said Gilbert. It's the perfect place to play hide deep. My turn to hide. He took a deep breath and swam in. Rita covered her eyes with her fins and began to count to ten. Whoop. Gilbert bumped into a giant empty clamshell and he wriggled inside. Eight, nine, ten, ready or not, here I come! Rita called in a wobbly voice. Gilbert peeked out of the clamshell. A ghostly green light was glowing in the darkness. The light bobbed and bobbed closer. Gilbert's heart beat faster. The light bobbed past the clamshell. It was bobbing towards Rita. <gasps> then the light went out. Oh, and there's a light. <gasps> Gilbert's tummy did a somersault. He squeezed out of his hiding place. Rita, where are you? Gilbert! Rita squealed, there's a green eyed monster in this game! Gilbert's teeth began to chatter. I'm not a monster, said a gravelly voice. I'm an anglerfish. My name is Gloana. I can't see you. Gilbert stammered. It's much, much too dark. Well, why didn't you say so? Said Gloana. Ready? Set? <gasps> Glow! The cave was bathed in an eerie green light. Ah! Gilbert gasped. Gloana and her friends shrieked. They took one look at Gilbert's teeth and leaped <gasps> into each other's fins. Rita crept back to Gilbert's side. Gilbert took a deep breath. Oh, oh, hello, Gloana, he sputtered. There's no need to be scared said Gloana. M me scared? Uh, uh, great white sharks are fearless. Rita nudged Gilbert nervously. Uh, we better get back before your mom finds out we went over the edge. Uh, come, come up and play hide and seek with us sometime, Gloana, said Gilbert in his bravest voice. Uh, I'm not going up there, Gloana gasped. All sorts of scary things. Let live in the light. Oh, so they're scared of each other's environment. That's interesting. Gilbert swam out of the cave. Hey, that's not the way we came, called Rita. But Gilbert was already swimming up towards the rays of the setting sun, and Rita raced to catch up with him. All around them, seaweed swayed and spooky shadows swirled. Everything looked wrong. <gasps> stay, stay, stay close to me, Rita, stammered Gilbert. Moonlight began to filter into the deep ocean. Above them, a huge silvery moon shadow was creeping along the edge. A moon shadow with beady eyes and ferocious teeth that crept closer and closer and what do you think it is gilbert get up here this minute gilbert's mother thundered you're in deep trouble gilbert and rita looked at each other uh oh they gulped 
I told you to not go over the edge, Mom said. You are not to go out of my sight until I am sure that I can trust you again. Gilbert's fins dripped so, so sorry, Mom. He whispered, we won't do it again. We won't do it again. Oh, Gilbert's mother hugged him tightly. Well, thank goodness I found you. I was scared you were lost in the deep, she said. Oh, uh, I was a little scared too, admitted Gilbert. You said great white sharks were fearless, <laughs> Rita reminded him. In the moonlit ocean, Gilbert, the great white shark, looked up at his mother and smiled a shaky, sharky smile. Oh, we, we, we are fearless. <laughs> Most of the, most of the time. The end. Aww. And there's Gilbert and Rita Ramora. Well, I hope that you enjoyed Gilbert in Deep and that you learned from this wonderful story to listen to your parents. That's right. See you next time.